YouTube, it's Lena, and I'm here today with my Marvel Collector Corpse box. This month is Doctor Strange, which I'm very happy about. I'm really excited for the movie that's coming out in November. Um, for those of you that don't know, Marvel Collector Corpse is a box that is run by Marvel and Funko Pop, where you always get a t-shirt, you always get at least one Funko Pop, sometimes you get two, sometimes it's another figurine. And it runs about, with shipping and handling, it runs about $30, and you get it every other month. And they're always themed. Like, what was it last time? Last time it was Spider-Man. Usually if there's a movie coming out, they will be themed to the movie. But if they don't have one coming out at that particular moment, they'll pick something like they did Secret Wars for the comics. They had a Guardians of the Galaxy one last December when there wasn't a movie out at the time. They've done it for Civil War. They started with Age of Ultron, actually. They did one for Ant-Man. So every movie that comes out, they do one. They had a Deadpool one, even though Marvel themselves do not own Deadpool anymore. And I wanted to show the inside of the box this time. Usually it's just a bunch of different comic panels, but I like that they did just like one big thing this time. And they always include a pen of some type that matches the theme and an iron-on patch. I need to like get a denim jacket or something and iron on all these patches that I have. I need to do something with them. And they now include a card in the box that talks about everything in it and they show you possible variations that they were thinking of before they decided on what they actually wanted to put on it. And as you can probably see with me flipping in the background, they always tell you next month's box, which is actually X-Men, which I'm really excited for. So on top is always the shirt. And it is usually a Funko figurine on the shirt. More often than not, that's what I've noticed as far as a pattern is concerned. I like that it's blue. So a lot of the shirts are either gray or black. So, you got Doctor Strange doing his little magic thing right there. So I will wear that to the movie premiere. They do always include a comic, and I actually do read them. I really got into Secret Wars, actually. No, wait, Civil War II is the one that I really got into because they included a comic because in the Women of Power one. I kind of had my issues with the main Funko in that book. I thought it should have been... Uh, Miss Marvel or Captain Marvel instead of Squirrel Girl, but I don't tell them what to do. And the, the comics they send are always a Funko Pop variant on the front. Let's see. Although they usually base them around an original cover of some variety. And I already kind of accidentally revealed the Funko Pop, so I'll just pull that out now. It is the, these are always an exclusive to the box. Like they're just a slight variant that you can get elsewhere of what you can get elsewhere. And this is the Doctor Strange, what is it called exactly? His astral form? Yeah, it's his astral form. And he's like floating in a position and everything. He's levi levitating, yeah, that's the word. See, like here is his regular and here is his levitating form, which is the one that we get. Now, they show on here that they had originally intended to make it blue, like in the comics, but apparently the movies went with a more golden version, so they did that instead. But that's cool. And what appears to be the last thing in here, because it is huge, is a pop ceramic mug. I love these. Although I will say, take away the gray, that looks like the Tony Stark mug, <laughs> especially since it's red. Let's pull this out. I know I have a Star-Lord mug. I know I've at least seen a Tony Stark one. I don't know if I have it or if it was a variant you could get or what. Ugh, I hate the sound of like styrofoam scr scraping against things. See, here it is right here. It's really cute though. I'm very happy to have it. 
I just don't think it looks that different from Tony Stark. But I mean, how much facial features can you really get at a Funko Pop? You can't like see their eyes or anything. So anyways, that is it. Thank you guys for tuning in. As always, I do really appreciate it. And hopefully I will see you later. Bye.